this is the uh, Aegis destroyer launching these missile defense interceptors. They're called SM-3, Standard Missile 3. Again, their job is to be the shield after a US first strike attack has been launched. These warships can also launch Tomahawk cruise missiles, which are first strike attack missiles. And the Tomahawk uh, cruise missiles are nuclear capable as well, okay. Because the Aegis destroyers, the Navy warships, have had the best testing program of all the various missile defense systems, they had the brilliant idea of putting these platforms also on land. And so they've created a program called Aegis Ashore, where you put the missile launch complex that's essentially on these warships, you put it on land. And the United States has built one of these at a base in Romania, very close to the Russian border. There's also one of these in Kauai and the Hawaiian Islands. And there's also one now under construction in Poland. And so the US is putting uh, these missile defense systems now on land and on sea surrounding both Russia and China. Remember that I said that the cruise missile could carry nuclear warheads and would be part of US first strike attack uh, launch. They could also be fired from these same Aegis ashore platforms. And from either Romania or Poland, they would be able to hit Moscow in 10 minutes time. That's the cruise missiles could hit Moscow in 10 minutes time. So for the last 20 years, Russia and China have been saying to the United States, you're encircling with uh, uh, us with these missile defense systems. You're taking away our ability to have a nuclear retaliatory capability. So we really can't afford to enter into dramatic uh, nuclear missile uh, reduction talks because we can't afford to give up our nuclear retaliatory system because we understand that the Pentagon is going for first strike capability. We can't lose that nuclear retaliatory capability. And that's one reason that, that uh, arms control has ground to a halt, plus the fact that the United States doesn't wanna do arms control anymore. And so uh, Russia and, and China have incidentally both renounced first strike attack but the United States refuses to do so, saying we're keeping all op options on the table, all right?